Bike day. What? what? What is up you guys? My name is Cat Darling and of course thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, it is actually my first time to create a vlog kind of thing but I think this is the best moment to do it because I just did something truly momentous in my life. So yeah, um, this video is going to be the Singapore loop or the round the island as the locals call it. So first, let me introduce myself. My name is Kat Darling and I am a singer-songwriter and uh, an athlete. Right, so why the hell am I doing this? Well, basically I do just want to challenge myself because I'm in a new country and I want to get to know the culture. Biking around it would definitely be a great way. And aside from that, I'm a cyclist. The cycling here is so awesome because of the roads and the in infrastructure that they created for cyclists. So I wanted to experience that myself. And of course, this is my way of keeping fit. So again, thanks for clicking on this video and I do hope that you enjoy watching. Good morning! 9 o'clock. I'm starting my round the island in Singapore. And yeah, they said it was gonna be cloudy today, so wish me luck. I think it's gonna be around 12 hours, hopefully. Um, yeah, let's go do it. <laughs> so I started my ride here in East Coast Park. See, I don't really want to stop. <laughs> I'm almost outside the cycling area. I'm off to the main road soon, so I gotta say bye-bye. So just to give you a bit of a backstory, I did train a lot to do this solo Singapore loop. So I did nine rides and you can all see them on Strava. I went and researched the route on my own, of course, with the help of a lot of YouTube videos who've also, of the people who've also done the Singapore loop. And I was able to come up with my own version of the Singapore around the island.
Oh yeah. So, rest stop number one. I took one hour forty nine minutes to get to Raffles Marina Lighthouse, and this is my bike. And I got my water there. Contents. SIS. Selfie stick. <laughs> okay, that. And of course, this. And on the other side, we got. Two sandwiches. No, actually three sandwiches. And I'm gonna eat one right now. Plus, of course, my chocolates. Yeah, there you go. Water, raincoat, and I am gonna walk to the lighthouse. So I just realized I've done like 41 or 40 plus something kilometers and I only have a hundred to go <laughs> so yay so I just realized it's 2 17 p.m. by the way and I just realized that I am at the hardest part of my route because this is the area that I have not cycled through before and it's so fucking hot right now and weather forecast said it was gonna be cloudy all day wow so yeah I'm just gonna be <laughs> Feeling ko ako lang yata yung nagli-lipstick na cyclist, no? <laughs> Alright, it is so hot. I am in Lim Chukang Road. This is like the cemetery road. Medyo mahirap huminga because it's so hot. But this is just 9 kilometers till my next stop. So, also, look, it looks really cloudy there. And that might be rain. So I'm so looking forward to getting there. Yeah. I badly need rain right now. Ooh. It's raining. All right, yeah, so here's a little bit of a hiccup. I'm supposed to pass here, but I cannot. So hopefully I navigate my way through this shit. Oh no, oh no. <laughs>
Ola. <laughs> I am in Woodlands Promenade and that's the crossing to Malaysia. That's Johor Bahru, which I intend to bike to if I still find the time and the leg strength. But yeah. I'm too lazy to get a photo because I already had a photo before, but yeah. Here I am, I just had a sandwich and I'm ready to go. <laughs> Currently, <laughs> currently cramping. Whew, damn, twelve K to go until my next stop and dinner. Oh, my God. Whew. I'm so tired. But it's so beautiful here. So it's Pungol PCN and I'm somewhere at the uh, at a bridge. And yeah, mukhang gagabihin na naman ako dun sa dinadread kong area na scary but then it's not gonna be so late so yeah whatever um whoo <laughs> yak tawa ang putik Hi guys! Yee! O nga eh. Bye! You know, yun yung nagbudol sa akin nung bike ko. Bye! Ingat! Pasiris. PCN. And there you go. Hello. Yeah, thank you. I am gonna eat more. <laughs> oh, shucks, really? We shall see.
Okay, so I am about to turn left to the scariest part of this ride. I tried to leave earlier, but I couldn't because of course sleep is a priority and I got to sleep three hours at least. I was so excited I couldn't sleep anymore when I woke up. But yeah, if I go missing, I got lost in the scariest part of Singapore um, around the island and I'm here now either a monster took me a sea monster and unfortunately I had no idea that the Singapore air show was going to happen on the weekend or the day of my Singapore around the island loop and yeah they closed all the roads in that area including the PCN including Aviation Park Road and cyclists ultimate favorite road which is the Tanamera Coast Road which has the 10 kilometer cycling lane and I was so looking forward to that and I wasn't able to ride it so yeah that only means that I am definitely gonna be back to do this Singapore around the island loop again and the next time I do it it's gonna be legit AF <laughs> Okay, this was where I was supposed to come out, but yeah, they said it was closed. I was really quite bummed that they closed this area, the Tanamera Coast Road. I was so looking forward to a victory lap there. I also got lost for a little bit dodging the expressways which cost me about an hour more on my bike. I fucking did it! Holy shit! Holy shit! Okay, I'm back at the Wake Park. Fuck! I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> I... I did it! Did it! I did it! I did it! Oh. <laughs> Sige! Na accident ka pa dito. Shit! I'm here!
forgot to mention, if you do want the route or you want to know the different roads that I pass through, do check it out on Strava. I'm also Cat Darling, that's K-A-T Darling, and you can check out the route there. Or 